Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Libra Sun, Libra Moon and Libra Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for uh, September 10th to September 16th, 2018. So while I'm shuffling, a uh, few words. This will be a general reading, this isn't your personal reading. And... Uh, that's why, you know, I'll explain the cards, uh, how they interact with one another, but to make sense of them, it is it will be your job. And um, for a personal reading where I make sense of the cards, you know, for you, uh, you can check out my website, which is written down below in the description of this video. And there you can find a full list of my services, as well as the pricings of them. So that being said, tarot reading goes first, the tarot reading, and uh, this is going to be a four position card spread. So the first position here will be uh, the topic of the week, followed by the core of the situation. Third card will be about the challenges that uh, you have to tackle with, and then the last one is about the guidance. That it is advisable, you know, for you to follow. So let's see what you do have here, Libra. Now the first card, that will be the star card. So it does look like that this week is going to be a week of improvement. Now the star card, very positive one. It does preach um, unfolding love. It does preach hope. But it is the sign of an end of a turmoil. Should I say that way? I mean, it, it comes right after the tower card which is the turmoil and now the star card marks the end of that turmoil. So this week it is um, very likely that a certain events will occur which, uh, which events are going to be a prerequisite of something emerging that will be something of a great importance for you. You are going to place a great hope at and it will be something that you are going to look forward to as well. <clears throat> So it will be a, a long-term development that you can expect to uh, start in this uh, particular week, September 10th to a, a September 16th. Now the star card kind of like um, <clears throat> points to a state uh, in, in which state you, Libra, will be able to lift yourself above the situation and be able to, you know, to, foresee, to foresee the worth of uh, of your current undertakings of the undertakings that you are yet planning to um, involve yourself in as well when it comes to relationship and when it comes to career that applies too so you will be able to you know um, assess ver assess very accurately the situation now uh, again unfolding love with the star card does not regard only you know to intimate and personal love it mostly uh, regards to um, a love of support uh, so that could speak that the that you do have certain people which are ready to give you unconditional support should you need it and it is something that you can rely on and as well the star card may advise you to be that support for someone else as well so for what it seems here that week is going to be a a week of relief you know <clears throat> and a week of um, I don't know how, how you say it in English, but maybe a, a week of hope for the brighter future, should I say that way? So uh, what will be the, the, the cause of it? Now that will be the chariot card. And the chariot card regards to jump for the future, um, executing a certain plan, especially if, if uh, this is a career oriented reading, so that reading regards to your career and the chariot card is as well making clean break with the past, so the past does not influence your future any longer and uh, probably you have uh, realized that particular sentence recently that yesterday is yesterday and if you try to recapture it the only thing you are going to lose is tomorrow so the chariot card here could represent you know the breakup 
that you had with your boyfriend or a girlfriend you know and you no longer uh, regret that particular breakup but now you are entirely focused on the future you know and you now can see the um, the brilliant opportunities which uh, which are awaiting you and maybe you are figuring out right now how exactly to capitalize on them or that particular combination here could represent you know the planning of uh, of a certain project that taken place in the recent uh, in the recent past, and now it is time to make some certain actions toward it. So in the near future, you can actually foresee, you know, what is the worth of that thing, and you can execute, you know, your actions with a hundred percent flawless results. Uh, nonetheless, the chariot card points that you have put it the work behind it because the chariot is a card of a uh, heroic effort and now obviously you know um, entirely um, not without uh, wait a second so now not without any contribution of your behalf you entire you kind of like embark into the well-deserved uh, relief and well-deserved future of development that you will kind of like embark in the, um, somewhere in the duration of that week September 10th to September 16 2018 and by all means that could be your new love as well you know I mean it could manifest in many ways it's just the bottom line is that uh, it's something beautiful is about to happen to you for the duration of that week so I hope that you can seize it you know and I hope that you can kind of like um, place a an accurate value upon it because that's also a, a thing to be able to place an accurate value on uh, something good that it is happening so challenges here queen of pentacles it's not a person the queen of pentacles is um, a card pointing that uh, how can I place it? It's a card pointing that one needs to first make sure that uh, nothing else can be done or nothing else can be capitalized on into, uh, into the things that one has currently before one actually embarks into that new direction here, something that you are looking forward to. That's why this card comes as a challenge. Maybe you will try to make very swift break with the past with the with the current as well that's why uh, in the Monday on Tuesday maybe Wednesday as well it will be a good if you uh, kind of spend that time deliberating you know could you not make anything additional to what you're doing right now in order to capitalize even more successful on your own ready current undertakings before you jump and straight uh, and straight forward toward that new enterprise and that is due to the fact because the Queen of Pentacles sometimes is associated with regret if one goes to um, way too hasty you know and embarks the future way too hasty because uh, further down the road you may kind of like you know uh, again regret when you when you roll back the tape um, you may wonder could you you know could you make more of your past relationship or could you uh, could you be able to um, achieve great results in the previous project, project, etc., etc.? All that card points is that you have to be very resigned regarding the results that you do have right now before you actually jump forward into the future, Libras, and that is well uh, displayed as well into the star card because in the star, in the picture of the star card, we do have a naked woman, which in tarot is a a symbol of purity and it's a symbol of honesty. So uh, basically, you have to embark that that future pure, which means that there should nothing keeping you back in the past and if you have those doubts that you could have done something you know in order to alter the outcome of your previous situations then um, it, that, the very least is going to keep your mind occupied you know and will not give you the uh, 
the biggest satisfaction of the new road that you are about to um, that you are about to embark or to make an inaccurate assessment upon the new enterprise coming in which is as I said uh, again also a, a thing a, a, a thing a, and it is a, a thing of a great importance and the last card here um, which is the guidance tightly connected with the accurate uh, assessment we do have the ace of swords so the ace of swords points that you need to accept the truth here don't try to opt uh, the truth don't try to opt uh, to alter the outcome should you find out that it is entirely futile i mean the recognition of the truth it is uh, very difficult sometimes you know um just to give you an example i'm not saying that this is your case here um let's say that every single sign that your partner in your relationship is giving you is that they don't love you but still you refuse to accept that particular truth or uh in in your career you know maybe every single mm, sign that come into you points that this project is going to be a failure and yet you don't accept that truth and still pushing forward to you know to try to develop it so that card here uh, asks you to accept the truth as soon as the truth comes in your way so you can place that accurate assessment accurate diagnosis upon um, upon your situation from there you are going to be um, very in tune and I mean you will be able to kind of like um, you know be very thorough with uh, with your deliberation uh, upon your current positions that's why you will know is there anything that you can do or is there an, or there isn't anything that you can do there and from that point you can jump or kind of walk forward here uh, and put an end to the era of the turmoil one more thing about the ace of swords it's also a about cutting measures what i mean is that enough is enough and sometimes you have to put an end to a particular activity into a particular project or particular relationship with a little bit more drastic measures the ace of swords in that particular case comes to those extreme actions and extreme measures so you can put an end to a an activity which is ill to your uh, particular environment in your daily routine so that was uh, your tarot reading libros and now um let's uh, talk about the lenormand reading that which is going to display event uh, that is about to happen uh, for the duration of the week and should you look forward to it or should you try to avoid it that depends on what your personal aims are let me shuffle them all right so the first card that will be the child which sits for a child it sits for innocence or it sits as well for a new beginning then we do have the uh, three which which sits for long lasting or it sits for health as well and then we do have the bear which uh, sits for indulgement it sits for mother and it sits as well for uh, comfort so what we can say here is a, a new long lasting comfort that it is happening <clears throat> in your world that is going to take place that will be the event uh, and the event most likely is associated with either a woman your mother or someone who is supporting you because the bear it is apart from the motherhood it is also um, someone who is supporting you giving you resources you know and trying to nurture you which kind of fits with uh, with all that i mean at least the um at least the new um stable and long lasting comfort that you are going to find into this week which is going to embark your um <clears throat> which is going to allow you to embark in the near future so that being said libra this was your um Taro and Lenormand reading for September 10 to September 16, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And again, 
this isn't your personal reading guys it's uh it's the general reading for the star sign so i can dis i can um tell you the meanings of the cards and uh, their synergy but i cannot make sense of them for you this is for the personal readings and if you want a personal reading uh then all, only thing you have to do is go to my website and choose your service um, that suits you best. And my website is listed down below in the description of this video. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.